Sea of Thieves Season 7, the Captaincy Update, has just been revealed alongside some screenshots with some hidden easter eggs. So let's jump right into the video. Before we get into the video, make sure to join 600 members in the Mystic Hideout Discord server to speak with other members of this amazing community. If you'd like to join the tavern along with so many others, visit the link in the description. Finally, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, it's completely free. I would love to reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers, so each and every one of you can help by liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing the channel with your friends and family. This is going to be the biggest update to hit Sea of Thieves since A Pirate's Life, and whether you are new or an old player to the game, there is something for everyone here. Firstly, let's talk about what the captaincy actually means for you, the player. You're going to be able to purchase your own sloop, brig or galleon to customise and captain. These customisations will save across multiple servers, allowing you to avoid the first minutes of the game choosing which cosmetics to fit your ship with. New cosmetics are coming in the form of captain's quarters, being able to choose the chair, curtains, table and so much more. Not only this, but you're finally able to name your ship's crest where we can see some of the asset images as new nameplates in different locations around your vessel. We also see some new trinket additions which look like you're able to earn these through commendations and perhaps these trinkets will coincide with different grades that you progress your commendations through. Moving on you'll be able to choose your path as a captain or crew member to earn rewards. These rewards are not quite clear yet but I think it will entail more ship customizations on top of the trinkets that we see in the trailer. We also can see on the scroll special captain's voyages which point us towards the changes to the bookshelf where we can also see in some of the asset photos the return of mercenary voyages which is a huge bit of information that some people are overlooking from the trailers. I hope this is a permanent change and we can start to see more mercenary NPCs around the seas to perhaps open up a new faction. This could be why we see this trailer set in the arena tavern as it could be like a new outpost for the mercenaries or sovereigns. Moving on again to the sovereigns which claims to be an easier place to sell your loot. However, I hope it's a lot more than this and we get to see some special voyages earned from them. The scroll also mentions a captain's log, which is an interesting concept to say the least, so I'm very intrigued to see how that's going to function. Final thing I want to mention is one of the asset files. There is a picture of a sleeping fox, which is cool, I guess. <laughs> But anyway, I'm overall super excited for this update and I think this trailer is only going to cover the very tip of the iceberg with loads more gameplay features to be revealed. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, check out the other videos on my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.